Welcome to Cape Fear Koi. So here is my skimmer box. Uh, time for a change, as you can see. It's doing its job. It's got a lot of debris, a lot of uh, just silt and all this. There's also a, a lot of surface area, a lot of beneficial bacteria that's in here. So what I'm going to do is to kickstart my new pond, I'm going to use this debris and some of the just some of the sludge and all this and it uh, has bacteria it's going to be part of the new pond and that's going to help me get my bead filter kick started and that will uh, give me what I need so I don't have to wait as long to get my my bacteria started so what I'm gonna do is, is peel this off and give it a rinse in a bucket and then dump some of this in my new pond and go from there all right Okay, welcome back. Here we are with our mechanical filter, our pads, and we're going to use them to get our beneficial bacteria, and it's going to be our kickstart to the new pond. So right here is all of our yummy stuff right here. The, um, we got a little bit of water and bacteria. Here are our pads right here. We're just going to lift these up and throw them in, give them a rinse. Do that a few times, fill that bucket all the way up, and then we pour it in. Okay, here we are at the bucket and hose. I'm gonna take the pad, put this just right in here, just wash this down, give it a good rinse. All that just flowing through the other side of it. Make sure it gets nice and pressurized inside it. Get all that nice, nasty slime grit. All that good bacteria. Doesn't look good, but it's good for the pond. As you can see, very good mix. Super saturated. I'm gonna do it again, one time, and that'll be plenty for me to kickstart my bacteria. There's literally millions and millions, and they, within hours, they multiply. And they'll settle in my bead filter and give me the bacteria that I need. probably three gallons worth. All right, headed over to the pond here. Like I said, this is in transition to be completed within a couple of days. The bottom drain's working. You see that's filled up with leaves. I'm gonna have to get to that. I'm just gonna dump it on in. Right over next to my bottom drain. It's gonna get pulled in right away. As you see, it's not really spreading throughout the pond. That bottom drain's pulling up pretty good. And it gets all mixed throughout the water column. The bacteria's in there. I'm pretty excited. Here's our bucket full of bacteria. Our pad off to the side. We got that about halfway rinsed and we'll continue to get the balance of that. So we're going to take this currently into the holding the new pond for our kickstart. Mix it all up. Let that get situated. Colonize in our bead filter. We're going to do that twice. And we're going to be in good shape. That's the quickest way to get your beneficial bacteria without having to go to the store and spend a bunch of money on stuff that you probably already have. If you don't have it, maybe one of your pond buddies can lend you some and you can dump it on in. All right. Got 
this is our medium. And then we're gonna go with our our ultra fine. Get that in there. Give it a super mix. It's all good stuff. Loaded with beneficial bacteria right here. Put this in the new pond. filthy but I think within a few hours or by tomorrow it'll be crystal clear and we'll be in good shape okay